Okay, so we've got this head all stripped down just to the bare casting here, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and clean up my parts washer just to make the paint stripping go a little easier. So let's get this going. Okay, so I've uh, just finished cleaning this off pretty good, as good as I can really. A little, little spots left, but um, this should be good enough for me to start stripping the paint. I also cleaned out the inside here, clean out the machine surfaces, um, get all the old grease off. I'll put be packing this with new grease. And uh, it's not perfect, but it's a good, good start. Okay, I think that should just about do it for now. And I'm just gonna rinse all this simple green off. Some hot water. Okay, now back to the shed here. I'm just gonna go ahead and blow all this water off, try to dry it out before it sucks or anything. For stripping this paint, I was thinking about using a sandblaster, but I don't really want to accidentally blast any of these machine surfaces, so I'm actually going to try to use this citrus strip stuff. I saw this on Keith Rucker's channel, it seems like it works pretty well, so I'm going to go ahead and apply that to this casting and see if I can get it down to bare metal. Okay, so I finished applying the paint stripper to this uh, casting, and uh, I'll probably give it a half an hour, an hour, and check on it. And I guess you can leave it on there up to 24 hours, but uh, we'll just kind of see how it goes. It's pretty thick paint, so it might take a while to eat through it. But uh, I think I'm already starting to see signs that it's working, so well, fingers crossed this should hopefully work. Okay, it's been about 24 hours. Uh, let this paint stripper seep into this paint here. I'm gonna see if I can scrape it off, see how that goes. Yeah, it's working really nicely. Hopefully it'll be like this through most of it. Worked really well. I was gonna have to reapply it on some of these other parts, but other spots, but that's not, not a big deal.
Okay, so removing this with the uh, little by hand here with this brush is taking a little bit of time. So I got my old eye grinder here and I put a little wire brush on it. So hopefully this will go a little faster now. Okay, well, a combination of using that paint stripper and that uh, little uh, brush wheel, that really got the paint off very well. It's down to the bare metal here. I thought I might have to do a second coat of that stripper, but it doesn't look like I'll have to. So next thing I'll do is I'll just clean this up real good with some acetone, clean out all these uh, machine surfaces. It looks like there's some gunk on there still. And it just cleans up really, really good uh, to prepare it for painting and uh, reassembly. Okay, so now that I've got this casting all cleaned up, I'm going to go ahead and mask it off so I can paint it. Okay, so I've got this casting all masked off. Next I'll go with a shed and uh, wipe it off for one more wipe of acetone. Okay, so it's all masked off now. I'm just going to give it one final cleaning with some acetone. And this time I'm wearing some gloves to keep my oil from my pans off it.
Okay, so now this is the fun part. I actually got my primer here, the automotive primer, and I finally get to start actually painting this thing. Here we go. All right, so that's coat number one. All right, so I'll let that first coat of primer dry for a few hours. I'm just gonna flip it over and do the second coat this other side here. Okay, so that's the second coat. Okay, and then uh, that's that dried is the first coat of the gray enamel paint. Okay, I'll let that coat dry for a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and uh, spray just mostly the top area here with another coat before I flip it over. Okay, so I've let this uh, coat dry for about a day, so I'm going to go ahead and flip this over and do the last little bit of it here. And here's the final coat. Okay, so let's let this dry for another 24 hours, and I'm just gonna go ahead and pull up all these masking bits now. Okay, so I finished removing all the masking tape and everything from this. Uh, I'm really happy with how it turned out. It turned out really nice. Um, now I'm just going to throw a little bit of oil on all the machine surfaces here just to keep them all fresh and lubricated for when I assemble it. Now off camera I spent a minute or two just polishing up this uh, top of the shaft where this head sits. This is some fine grit sandpaper and it'll make a nice place for this thing to sit as I work on the rest of it and parts back to it. So There we go. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Should be a really nice rest of project for this.